is the signs here, they're colourful. The rest of it is it's an overcast day, the floods, you can see there's still texture, it's still flying. It's dropped a little bit, it's not running through the fence anymore. The signs here are colourful, apart from the colour from them, it possibly could still do as a black and white. The fact that this fence has been washed out and the fact that these posts are all leaning over, you can tell the direction of the flow. Um, it's definitely flooded, it's definitely climate change and of course the guard dog is on duty but I hope he's going to split as a snorkel. <laughs>
smoke and the burning, and there's like a repetition of form. So you've got the big power and the small, there's just the two elements on opposite sides, subject, counterpoint, um, the warm toned black and white, it's nice, um, it's, a, it's a clever image with burning, and these are the culprit to making our forests burn. So, well done. And that's American Jason Clark. Okay, one of the things that artists do is they use aerial perspective. So by having it darker, it gets lighter, like blue mountains. By the time you have like mountains in the foreground, they're darker blue mountains, they get lighter and lighter. When they paint, they do aerial perspective. You've done aerial perspective in photography, which is created depth to, to the image. You've got these, is this in West Australia, by the way? Not here? Okay, um, yeah, I, I really like the fact that they're all there chopping up the air to generate electricity and the area of perspective, that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very clever future, but they actually have looked at the amount of energy saved by the time they make the wind turbines, and unless they run them for 20 years, in excess of 20 years, it's negative, it's actually making greenhouse gases then saving us. But you've taken and you've done a really clever composition and told a great story. Well done. And that's an honour for Wayne McDonald.